There are important systems installed in and around a plant's centrifugal compressor. Let's learn about the structure and functions of these systems. First, we will consider the thrust balance that is required for a centrifugal compressor. Suction pressure is applied to the suction of the centrifugal compressor's impeller. Moreover, discharge pressure is applied to this section at the front and rear surfaces of the impeller. Therefore, thrust power acts on the suction side due to differences in pressure on this section. The thrust bearings in a single-stage centrifugal compressor suppresses this force. However, in a multi-stage compressor, this thrust power is proportional to the number of stages. It becomes extremely powerful and cannot be suppressed by the thrust bearings. This thrust power must be reduced in order to decrease the load on the thrust bearings. For this purpose, a centrifugal compressor uses a balance drum. The balance drum is attached above the shaft behind the final stage impeller. Then the suction pressure is applied to this side of the balance drum through the balance line. When that happens, the thrust power acts on this side of the balance drum according to the difference between the final stage discharge pressure and suction pressure. The balance drum is designed to balance this force with the thrust power applied to the impeller on the suction side. The thrust power can also be balanced without using a balance drum by changing the impeller configuration. In the multi-stage compressors we have looked at so far, the gas flowed in only one direction. When the impeller configuration is modified to change the flow of gas, the thrust power is applied in counter directions and can be balanced. A centrifugal compressor maintains the thrust balance with these types of systems.